Hi, this is Hitman SOS, and today I'm going to be taking a look at something a little bit different to uh, my usual stuff. But, um, you know, usually I make videos of uh, my wrestling figures, and technically this is a wrestling figure. It's King from uh, Tekken 8. Uh, he is a, a wrestling character. Um, I've never been, like, a huge fan of Tekken or anything like that. Uh, it's been many years since I've played a Tekken game. Uh, if my memory serves me correct... Uh, Tekken 1 and 2 maybe um, I may have had on the PS1 or something um, at the time I was actually more into Sega and I had the Sega Saturn and um, I was playing games like Virtual Fighter 2 and Fighters Mega Mix which I always preferred more than uh, a lot of the Namco games but um, yeah I did have a Playstation and uh, I did have Tekken um, but this was something I just stumbled upon uh, the other day in a local store and uh, you know, I didn't know they existed. It was just something I saw I thought it looked cool and um, King was always my favorite character I think in Tekken or one of my favorites So uh, yeah, I thought I'd pick this up and uh, I thought I'd make a video just to, to show you guys what it's like So uh, this is the box Personally, I don't care too much about the boxes because uh, I'm gonna be opening up and throwing it away so there is only two figures uh in the series um i have seen more online but this i'm assuming is series one you've got king and you've got Jin. i believe his name is uh that was the only two that i saw in the store and uh it shows kind of like little lock padlock symbols for the for the other characters so i'm assuming these are the first two that came out and the others are yet to come although you probably can get the others uh online they're just not uh in the stores um just yet so uh, I have seen uh, other versions of this where uh, the package is slightly different it's the, the package has more colors on it um, I don't know what that's all about if that's some kind of uh, exclusive version or if this is maybe a re-release or something uh, the other version as well instead of having the uh, the fight there it uh, it has the uh, the Tekken 8 um, symbol and I think the little uh, fireball thing, whatever that is, uh, is a kind of orangey, fiery color in the other version, whereas this one is white. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna open this up and uh, take a closer look. Okay, so here is uh, King uh, out of the package. Um, so, I'm first of all, I'll show you everything that comes in the package. So, here we have a little uh, kind of a a, a swooshy thing that goes on his uh, on his hand, you know, like he's doing a a, a powerful punch of some kind, uh, you know, maybe maybe an uppercut. So uh, you know, fits on his hand quite well. Um, comes with a couple of changeable hands as well. So he's got kind of he comes with fist hands. And you've got some uh, slightly open, slightly pointy finger hands there. Um, he comes with this fight symbol, you know, the, the, the kind of thing that pops up on the screen when the, uh, the, the round is ready to, to go. Um, and he comes with this little stand. So you got this little stand and you got the base. So I'm assuming this is for the, the fight symbol. So uh, if I put that together... Oh, okay, so um, it doesn't actually attach to the stand. It looks as though it, it literally just sits on there. So um, it sits on there quite nicely. But um, like I say, it's not like attached. It's, it's easily going to fall down, uh, you know. So, uh, but it sits on there quite nicely and it looks good. It's a nice little added bonus, I guess. So the actual figure itself... Um, very well articulated. Uh, this is made by Bandai, by the way. Uh, I forgot to mention that. So, um, kind of a bit strange when he uh, tilts back. Uh, you can actually see a big gap there between his uh, torso and his uh, kind of uh, groin area. So, that's kind of odd. So, he's got a little tail. The tail just swivels around. So, it's not a ball joint or anything. It just basically swivels from side to side you got double joints on the knees there so you got a little bit of swivel there on the uh 
on the ankle not um nothing major but um he can do the splits so he's got the ab crunch there um elbows are double jointed but even though the elbows are double jointed there still seems to be a little bit of uh um you know it doesn't go like all the way probably due to his big arms so quite a nice figure quite well articulated and everything you can get some good poses out of this i just find this this gap there just uh i don't know slightly bothering but you kind of got to have him uh leaning slightly forward uh in order to uh avoid that that little gap there is exposed So the only thing I will say really, um, like I say, I'm not a big Tekken fan. Uh, I haven't played Tekken for many years. So this is obviously from the, the latest version of Tekken. So, uh, you know, the, uh, the attires will be slightly different, but, um, if you were to look on the box, you'll see that in the game, he has this kind of elaborate kind of stuff around his neck and he wears, uh, he wears a cape and everything. So, um. Yeah, it doesn't come with that. He's got some extra little bits on his arms and things like that. So, uh, it's kind of lacking a lot of detail. Uh, you know, and these figures are not like, they're not like really cheap figures. They're not like expensive, but they're not like really cheap. Um, you know, they could have included some, uh, some more elaborate, uh, gear. But, um, in all honesty, this will probably be the only... Tekken figure I have uh, just because you know I collect wrestling figures and uh, King is a wrestler so um, I'm just trying to change his hands to see how easy that is so it is a bit it's not that easy uh, this little peg here that his hand clips into does move uh, it's kind of a ball joint so um, a bit awkward to get that to stay still whilst you're trying to put the hand on in fact I may even try and give up. So yeah, that's going to be really awkward. Okay, so I was able to get the uh, the previous hand back on, but um, okay, so the other hand, the other hand will go on. Just need a bit more patience, but. As I'm making a video right now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to get his hand on. So, uh, yeah, changing the hands is a little bit awkward. But, um, as I say, I am a wrestling figure collector. And having a wrestler from a different universe is a is kind of cool. Um, King was my favorite character from Tekken. Or one of my favorite characters. I honestly can't remember all of the characters from Tekken uh, off the top of my head. You know, because... Um, like I say, I'm not a huge Tekken fan. Um, although I do like Tekken, I have played Tekken in the past. But um, yeah, pretty cool figure, well articulated. You know, um, he looks good. Uh, like I say, if you're a wrestling figure collector like I am, um, you know, it's nice to have a, a wrestling figure from another universe, if you will. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you ever see these and you love Tekken, so. Uh, yeah, you, you probably won't be disappointed. It's worth getting. You know, there are more expensive Tekken figures out there. I believe Storm Collectibles make some, which probably do look better, but you will be paying a lot more money for those. So, uh, yeah, this one, I would definitely recommend picking up uh, the Bandai Tekken figures uh, if you ever come across them. So, uh, you know, not bad figures. You know, the, the price... I guess about the same as a, a WWE Elite figure, you know, maybe a little bit more. So uh, I guess they're not too bad for the money. Uh, thank you for watching.